Hello everyone, welcome back to MG Arena. So today is late tonight on the 26th, the release day of Magic the Gathering Arena. So, this is basically just an introduction as to what's going on. Ooh, so I just recently updated the OBS, what I used to record, and it has a pause and unpause button, I suppose. So it actually s tells us whenever we're actually recording, or it has the icons for recording. Anyways, update OBS, get those updated, and just have better UIs and stuff like that. Anyways, rotation, these sets can only be played in historic play modes now. Ixalan, Rivals of Ixalan, Dominaria, and Core Set 2019. Oh. Um. I suppose. I'll plug this in because I want to actually hear the sounds as well. Oof. Okay, so. New standard decks. Angelic Army, Azure Skies, Out for Blood, Dome Destruction, and Forest's Might. Zori Senate. Warzov Syndicate, Izzet League, House Demir, and Boris Legion. Ew. So, I'm not sure we get these cards as well. Renewal Gifts. We got this. All of these cards. Ooh. Cauldron of Eternity. A, another Lotus Field. Another Mizzet Murderous Rider. Wicked Wolf. Plenty of really great cards. Like this. This is the new Mastery Tree. And once we get to 3400, um, we'll go ahead and unlock the Mastery Pass. And then maintain a 3400 gem count from then forward for each future set. So let's see here. So there was a note about if we unlock the mastery set we can still attain things in it. I'm not sure how that works though. However that may be a late at, at a later point in time. Um, shining. Ooh this is a lot more interesting. I like this. It's instead of a circle. But this is literally each path downwards. Each for each colour. White. And round cloak giant. Witching well. I'll definitely get the blue for the witching well. And the royal scions. Ooh, yes. Very much. Very much I like it. And then green for the great henge. Alright. I like this. So. I've got a code. Um, given to me from super mad lad when I was participating in his Twitch view stream and I will enter that code in now so if you see this code you won't be able to use it it's a one time use only and I've gained 1000 experience points here so each level is a thousand experience points so basically I've got gained one level in the mastery tree so each level is the same it doesn't matter when and when you use it if you get one of these a thousand experience codes it's just that so but this is a code that everyone can use what play Eldrain, i think yes and we'll get three packs of thrones of Eldrain here so we'll get that as well uh, what's this what's this season ends in three days interesting but we got we've got up to gold in both limited and constructed. That's how much drafting we've done to get our gems. <laughs> okay, mastery here. Pet selection. We've got the element cat. Rare. I suppose that's fine. And we don't want Chandra. Look at these avatars. We've unlocked the Chandra av Flames Fairy avatar. I don't really care for it. Still go with Nissa Ravane. So, <laughs> 20? Oh, interesting. Anyway, so let's go ahead and delete all of these historic style decks. I don't really care for them anymore. I'm going to create sort of new decks. Anyways, this is the interesting brewing season. 
Although I could keep these to sort of um, build upon them, but I don't really. I'm not really too worried about that. Waiting for the server. This is a bit slow. Now, the arena team did say they were trying to work on the performance. So hopefully that is actually a thing. So I think I think with all of these new constructed decks here and delete this and delete this mono red deck as well we can rebuild it once we've finished um, delete this delete this So all these will be deleted. Okay, so um, these are the base decks that you'll get with on release. Um, so anyone that um, is joining MTG Arena right now or later, will I think they'll have the first five colors unlocked. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, and then as they play along and level up uh, they'll unlock these other decks but we've unlocked all of them since we've been playing for quite a while sort of like um, earlier on when Beta was released we would start off with um, five starter decks we would play we would unlock the other ones and then we would keep unlocking them until we unlocked all of them I think 15 total this is 10 right off the bat I'm not sure if there's going to be any more um, as we go along and play but I will make a video about every single one of these. Uh, I'll start with the, the monocolored ones. Angelic Army, Azure Skies, um, Out for Blood, Dome Destruction, my Forest Smite. So I'll do a video of these, three games each, um, just to get a feel for it. Basically, I think two decks in each. Um, let's see, let's open up Angelic Army just to start off with no sideboard cards. Okay, so basically best of one, I'll do that. Um, we've got three fresh new quests and um, fresh experience points and stuff like that. Play any deck standard. Not doing this just yet. Um, this is an an event that I will do a separate recording for. Let's see, um, flex your d wind every card. You can your your access to all standard cards events starts right now. Um, after clicking start one entry per player so I'm not going to do this just yet um, basically play with decks that you can do it uh, you think will be successful basically more competitive decks and um, once you get comfortable with that I think you should definitely check this out try to get the 12 wins before you get two losses if you do that you'll get a copy of every single card in standard um, if not, there are, there are tiers about getting like uh, 11, 10, 9 wins, I think. So be caref careful, choose your deck wisely, and hopefully you have fun doing it. So, Sealed Throne at Veldrain, don't want to do this just yet. This is fantastic. I would love to get a Sealed. I wish they would give out more codes for Sealed. Traditional Core Draft, the same thing here. Um, at some later point, if I've got enough gems, I'll do it. For right, let's see, play. Let's see, ranked draft core 2020. I'm not doing this anymore right now since I see I'm wait waiting for traditional. Oh, this is traditional core. I've got to be careful. Read these actual titles for this. I'm going to be saving money for the ranked Throne of Our Drain drafts here. And um, I see no ranked Throne of a Drain draft. So we do have bot matches, standard ranked play, traditional play, standard, should have played ranked. Ooh. Ooh. And let's see if there's any updates to all this. We've already s seen this. I'll open this at a later point in time. 
so I'll redeem some other codes once we go through it. So basically this is just an intro to seeing what changes have been implemented and stuff like that. Um, I still don't see my treasure chest up in the upper hand right corner like other players do and see what progression that my pack opening has contributed to that. I did get a few rare and mythic rare slots as well. So let's go ahead and open this throne of El Drain pack and we get Gadwick the Wizened. Not really sure how to build around Gad Gadwick yet and it's going to be interesting though. It is a 3-3-4-3 three, three, three if you need it to be. Anything else is just, I guess, creme on the cream on top. I, I, I don't remember that saying. Stone Coil Serpent, that's really nice. I want to build the Aristocrats version where it has all those the black white the corpse knight the um cruel celebrants and then the midnight reaper basically there's three cards that have x spells like this that are no color requirements just x chamber sentry stone Court serpent and ugin's conjurant basically if we play each of those with zero with the midnight reaper out they turn into a cheaper street wraith obviously not instant speed but like you just keep drawing through your deck until you find all this stuff and then play gruesome menagerie or um uh, command the dread horde and bring them all back as zero costs so you lose zero life from it with command the dread horde and they all die again and you get all those death triggers from cruel celebrants enter the battlefield with the corpse knight um this was this deck was inspired by um, one of the viewers in Superman Lads, so I'm going to give credit to them. I think it's Awood, I don't remember. Um, okay, claim the first one, I do like that. Gilded Goose, These, this is going to be one of the most crafted cards in the standard. Cauldron's Gift. Outlaw's Merriment, one of the... <laughs> not very exciting mythic rares out of the whole set um basically was assembled the legion good enough for standard back in return to round like a standard not quite did not quite get there so i don't think with the even more power sta powerful standard right now this is not going to see a lot of play limited play this is fantastic you know throw this down each turn you get so many cards and stuff like that. So let's open a few more packs here. I've got plenty of gold. One, two, three. Let's do that. Let's save for um two two ranking traps. Into the story. Rankle Master of Pranks. Also another phenomenal card in standard. It does so much on one card. Ooh, a rare. Last pack to open. Return of the Wild Speaker. I'm not sure if this will see a lot to play. It's very powerful, obviously. Um, well, let's at least try to brew up one deck item. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ooh, select format standard. So that new option lets us let, it'll sort the entire collection that we have into cards that are playable in standard or historic or whatever format you're trying to do. So if you select like singleton format, it will only give you the option to select one so you don't like accidentally add an extra one and then save it as not singleton. Um geez, so many cards in our collection. What do we want to do? Well, okay, so I know we, I want to play Nymiz it, sure. So, fine color Nymiz it. Damn, so many cards. Okay, here we go. Nymiz it reborn. Look at that. <laughs> it doesn't like planes for some reason. So we've got that. We want a couple of hydroid craces. 
<sighs> I'm going to try a cameo in here. Um, I'm still not sure if Risen Reef was a good choice in our previous videos. But anyways, Crook Spiral. Not sure if I want to play a full four of, or if I want to play maybe a Merry Leaf Pixie. I think maybe the spell is just better so the pixie can just die and that will affect our um, mana choices. Tristani Discordant, I do like that. I'll deal with the land base that day like, um, once we're done t picking the cards we want. Um, hmm, Knight of Autumn, somewhere in the 75. Don't think I need Flower Flourish. Now, can Outlaws Merriment be played in Niv Mizzet? It is a target for Niv Mizzet. But do we want to play a 4 drop enchantment? I don't think so. Now, Solar Blaze is interesting. May let's let's try Solar Blaze. Um, <laughs> Death in Clarion. Definitely want those. Um, a couple of justice strikes. Let's try the Ravager Worm. I think that's that'll be a lot better. Uh, Domri, let's see a couple of those. Casualties of War, Fresca Golgari Queen. Um, maybe one Death Sprout. Definitely Assassin's Trophies. In Rakdos, what do we want? Devil, maybe? Oh, I think that's just too expensive, though. I think Grass Rampage. Definitely that, though. Mm, I'm not really feeling Niv Miz Perun because we're not playing a lot of spells. But Rouse Outburst is fine. Um. Yeah, I'm not sure about any of that. Now, a charter might be interesting. Let's do Unmoored Ego as well. <laughs> um, Tarrant Scorn, Thought Eurasia. Soren can bring back Nimbus from the graveyard after one activation, this plus two. Or perhaps we play Ethereal Absolution in the sideboard. Um, Kaya's Wrath, Oath of Kaya, Mortify. Like all those. Maybe a couple of D Sparks. So these are the cards that I was talking about earlier. Time Wipe. Elite Guard Mage, Deferi Time Reveler, Deputy Potential, Dovin's Veto, somewhere in the. Okay, so that's all the cards that we want. Let's look at this. All these two drops. We've got 15 creatures. Obviously, this is overload. Basically, from, based off of these cards alone. Okay. Chromatic Lantern. We only got a three. That's perfectly fine. Let's put a Paradise Root. So, now that we've got the cards that we sort of want, um, obviously let's make an um, well, before we fix our mana base, we'll go ahead and do um, sort the sideboard cards that we want. Through Absolution. If anything, it is a cyborg card. I think since Oko, well actually, Oko can just turn Shostani Discorded into a 3 3 with no other abilities. So we'll make this a sideboard card as well. Uh, sideboard card. Let's see here. Let's see. Like two Dublin's V2 sideboard. 
save on the thought erasure. We've got plenty. Of, look at all this removal here. Um, one's night to from sideboard. Don't like the deputy of detention. Toast me is perfectly fine. Shave on a mortify. Um, unmoored egos are going to sideboard. Let's do one main one side. The devil's too expensive. Um, Domri can be phenomenal here. Um, let's cut one ghost spiral. One justice strike. So let's leave. We've got some cuts. Lots of cards here. Desprout. We're not really playing a lot of basic lands, so I'm just going to cut that straight. Hmm. Maybe move that to the sideboard. We want for sure Niv Mizzet, Tosamir, Ravager Worm, this, this, this. And move this to the sideboard. We haven't really any is it cards, do we? I'll put this back in. Hmm. Yeah, like these slots are just so tough, you know. I'll cut one of that. So Slesnia hits going to be Knight's Fodom and Solsamir. Simic hits going to be Growth Spiral and Tamio. Do you want let's do let's sideboard these. One one. One two three four five. Five board wipes is perfectly fine. So as we shave one to fairy, it's going to be eight more cards cut because I'm going to play twenty five lands. I'm not playing any less than that. So we've got a solo blaze, definitely clarion, and uh, just a strike. So. Sure, this may not work with everything, however, we've got maybe I'll move casualties of war to the sideboard. I think Ravager Worm is going to be an important main board with all those new lands coming in. Um do we need let's do two and two. Let's move one Mortify to the sideboard. I like the Mortify. I like the Ithacaius. The Fairy is fine. Enchantment Remover main board. This deals with plenty of things. Damn, these are hard to cut. Okay, so. Adds mana. Tamiyo, perhaps move you. No, I like I like Tamiyo main board. Four more cards to cut. This is very difficult. Um, I think there'll be plenty of artifacts and enchantments that I need to deal with. This needs to stay main board. Um, this can deal with enchantments as well. So this is basically the only thing that snipes artifacts. Uh, if I move Jovin's vetoes to the sideboard, let's cut on this Domri. Mm, that's fine. Let's cut on the Mortify. We've got plenty of. Di diverse and di yeah, plenty of diverse um, removal spells. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I want at least one. Is it one of every single guild? 
um, and everything's being represented here and the Eng restaurant page is on the sideboard so that's fine so I think I'll do one of each basically um, the spark I'll move one thought erasure into the sideboard and remove a despark. We've got plenty of two and three drops. Average is 3.3. One more card. I need that 25th land. But I suppose we've got all of these, so it may be okay to just run 24. Okay, so we've got that settled. Um, let's look at lands. Obviously multicolored and uh, let's see so it looks like is it a color pie 19 so we're pretty heavy white actually that's really interesting so white green blue so um, Blue breeding pool. Obviously, we'll need a. Uh, let's do one godless shrine, one temple of silence, one watery grave, steam vents, one temple epiphany, one blood crypt, one overgrown tomb, one temple of melody. One stop me ground, one sacred foundry, one temple of triumph, um, temple of mystery, and a few basics, that's it. So we got three swamps for basics. That's not what I want to be a basic. <laughs> Why are swamps basics? Huh. Let's see. I actually think that's correct. We got one, at least one swamp to be basic. We want one island and one forest. Yes. Forests. Just lands, please. Um, where is? I'm just going to play these. We can mismatch swaps um, basics if you want to. Okay. So let's shave down on this one hallowed fountain. And we can add in a gateway plaza. And that will secure us for a multicolored land. And since we're playing all these different lands anyways, let's do one field of dead. One field of the dead. There we go. And I don't think we can afford to run any other colorless lands here. So I think this will be done. We'll try this out at a later point in time. Um, working. Working tight as well for Niv visit, okay? Alright, well, I'm excited for this new season. Um, obviously, this is it, the official season has not really started yet. Once co season two ends here, of course, twenty twenty, um, in three days. So the season will start on Monday. I think the new season will start on Monday for Eldraine. Um, well, hope you guys enjoy and have a great day. Bye.